Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this little fun fold card using the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set that you can find in our annual catalog. This card is quick and easy to do with our Stamparatus, and I'll be showing you a quick little trick. So let me set this aside, and I'll show you how to get started. I'm going to start by stamping my focal point for this project. I've got my Stamparatus here, and I've lined up my stamp on the two different plates. I've got my solid image here on the first plate, and I've got my squirrel and branch image on the second plate. I've pulled this off so that you can see it a little easier. So let me show you how I do that. I've got a mat here that I made using the layering circle die, and I cut out the circle already. What this does is allow me to see the placement of the image where it's going to be on the circle. So all I have to do is tuck my circle back in and it also gives me more space for my magnets to sit. I'm going to start with the solid image here and I'm going to ink him up with the smoky slate and stamp. And then I can set that back down and bring in my other plate. Now I'm going to ink up my outline first, simply because that way you can see it. And I'll put it right here on the top of my platform. And then stamp. Now spots are great for this if you don't like to get the outside of the ink pad touching the pad of the Stamparatus, giving you a little cleaner look. If not, just simply wipe that off. I'm going to flip this over and stamp the branch, making sure I've got it inked up well. Put it back into those slots and press down. When I remove that, I've got this perfect little squirrel on my circle, just like I wanted. So let me set this aside and I'll show you the next step. For my inside panel, I have got this fun fold that the sentiment is going to peek out from underneath. So I like to set this on in place and close this for a mat. And then I'm going to bring in my sentiment, hey there, and I'm going to stamp that down here in the right hand corner. Once I have that done, I can stamp on my left hand side. So I am going to bring in my leaf here quickly and ink it up with my crushed curry, and I'm going to stamp randomly down the edge of this card. Now, as I go off the cardstock edge, I want to make sure that I am re-inking that image up completely so I don't end up with a little line. Let's see, I'm going to turn this one over so we have a little bit of leaf showing there. I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to bring my squirrel back and I'm also going to add a little leaf here on the branch just for a little pop of color. And I'm going to take the little veining stamp here and stamp that. There we go. All my stamping is complete and I'm ready to assemble. Okay, I'm going to start by assembling the inside panel onto my card base and I'm simply going to add some adhesive. This is a step that if you would prefer to wait to do, you could add later when you're ready to send it, but I'm okay with it right now. There we go, and then I'm going to close this and add my piece of designer series paper here on the left. There we go. Next, I'm going to bring in my Granny Apple Scallop Circle. Now, the trick to this card is to add adhesive just on the one half. So I'm going to add adhesive on the outside curve, and then I'm going to add some adhesive here on the flap itself. And that allows it to line up and not have adhesive on my inside panel. Just a little trick. I've got my little squirrel done, and I'm going to pop him up with some dimensionals. Remove the backings. And adhere him down in place. Isn't that too cute? And to add a little bit of interest, 
I'm going to bring in my Parakeet Party ribbon, wrap it around the inside, and tie a lovely bow. This ribbon is nice and thin, so it's great for projects like this and has a lovely shimmer to it. There we go, I'm going to trim that end and slide. There we go. Oh, I think I'm gonna put that in the middle instead of closer to the edge. So I'm gonna slide it forward and trim. Now that I have that done, I wanna add a little bit of interest here in the upper right-hand corner. So I'm going to bring in my 2021 matte dots along with my Take Your Pick tool. And I'm going to pick up one of these darker Sweet Sorbet dots and pop it right here in the upper right-hand corner of the circle, just to add a little texture to that panel. And then I'm going to pick up a couple of my small ones here and add a little bit of interest next to the sentiment. I'm going to use two different colors so that it mimics the fall color of the leaves. So there you go, a quick and easy card using the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set with this fun fold. I hope you've enjoyed this project, and if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Jenny. Thanks for joining me.